Make my joy complete by being of the same mind, maintaining the same love, united in spirit, intent on one purpose. Do nothing from selfish or empty conceit, but with humility of mind, regard one another as more important than yourselves. Have this attitude in yourselves, which was also in Christ Jesus. And Paul was trying to bring them back to something because he's like, no, you guys have left that. You must have the same mind, same love. But in order for them to do that, they must focus on something outside of themselves, which is so hard in, in now in our day and age. And we must focus on Jesus, all of us. When we focus on him, we can then proceed to see how we can be unified. This is a mirror. <laughs> God created us in his own image and he said, we are good, very good. And so it's very good to look at yourself, right? In all seriousness, this is what we can do. In society, the average person looks at themselves for four hours a day. It's natural for us to just think about us. It's natural for me to just look in this mirror and think about me in every situation. What we do when someone is speaking their heart to us, expressing how they feel, Man, you hurt me in such a way. You made me feel fill in the blank. In our interactions at family groups, when we're with people, what are we doing? And what I'm saying is that what we can do, be so focused on ourselves and be all high and mighty, our response to these people is, hey, but what about me? We're so focused about our own self and how we're important, we don't see the value of the other person. And that's what Paul was getting at. Paul, he says, value others above yourselves. Is our lack of humility causing us not to see that? And what we should do, rather, is not have the mirror on ourselves, but rather we should flip it. We should flip it and walk around with the mirror on our chest so that the person can see themselves. When someone is talking to me, they see themselves. They see that I put myself aside so much because they're so important that I wanna be an advocate for them and know and tell them, hey, it's not about me. I lowered myself to Jesus first so that we can be of the same mind and I can express humility so that you can see how much I wanna to strive to be unified with you. And that doesn't mean it stays there because 2000 years later, we still need it. We're supposed to say we're at peace with the Father, but we can't even be unified with one another. And First John 4 says, God is love. We can love one another. So this is the thing, church. What are we gonna choose? Are we gonna choose the good life? Are we gonna choose what God designed to be beautiful? Are we gonna choose how he ordained it so we can be together, so we can have fellowship with one another? Or are we gonna choose ourselves?